Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. I'm Alex and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Today we are going to learn a new parameter called pulse width modulation. By using that, we are going to control the intensity of our LED. So let's hop into the program. Open your compiler. The first header file is there. So for the pulse width modulation, the new API comes into the picture, which is PWM out. Make sure P is capital and out is capital. Then you can name any of the object with your favorite name or whatever. Then goes in the pin number. This statement right over here means this is an API PWM out, which controls the intensity of an LED. This is your object and this is the pin number for your red LED. I'm going to use the red LED because I think it's fascinating as well as that's my favorite color. Next step is the same one which we always do. As we know, we always write our program in the int main and always in the while loop, which is an infinite loop. Having said that, today we are going to learn two things. First one is the PWM. What exactly do I mean by pearls with modulation is that it is basically a series of pulses with different duty cycle time in a fixed time. And what exactly is duty cycle? As you see from this picture, this is one pulse which has a width of this corresponding size as indicated. And while learning pulse width modulation, the next thing that comes into picture is the duty cycle. You should turn your phone down while recording. Duty cycle is T on upon T on plus T off. T on plus T off together is called the total time period. And again, what is T on and T off? So going back to the width, the pulse that is on during that moment is the T on and the pulse that is off a uh, flat as you see in this representation this is the off area this is the on area this complete cycle together is the total time period that i'm talking about and this is the t on so duty cycle is t on plus this both value the whole value of this one cycle a complete cycle consists of t on plus c off do remember that this is just a representation of 25 percent duty cycle and if you want to take it in person all you have to do is after getting the t on by total time you just multiply it into 100 the way you always do it with a percentage so that's about the pulse width modulation the second thing that we're going to learn is the for loop and what's the specialty of the for loop is that you can use three criterias and for a condition and if that condition falls true then you can go ahead and print out the value and as well as you can use the for loop as many times as you want. And for doing that, first of all, we need to define a variable, which I would say float i is equal to zero, okay? So why did I take float instead of integer? Because, because we already know that zero is on and one is off because in emulated system, LED is active high. So if I take one and zero, that would be a whole number, which is actually an integer. But if I take integer that is int, then we won't be able to see the intensity of the light. So for doing that, we need to take float. What does float do is you can use values such as 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 2.2, 5.5. .5. .5. So you can use numbers in points that aren't a whole number. So that is a float one. Now open your condition for for loop. In here goes our three conditions. First of all, i is equal to 1 that is off. Then i will be definitely greater or equal to zero right because if it's already one that is off it should be moving towards zero which is on state and then our condition goes as i is equal to i minus 0 0.1 which means that it increases the intensity of the led by 0.1 you can keep it as 0.2 as well but i think that will be not so noticeable so make sure you keep it something that you can quickly notice and there shouldn't be a jump in the intensity definitely you can use it go ahead but i prefer this so what happens if this condition is satisfied you can say my led is equal to i now we already defined i is equal to zero but we get the value of i from over here so that value goes into this line of code and the intensity of the led varies so next step is to automatically add a delay of 0.5 seconds that's our one loop now we open another loop. This loop was for making the LED to go from low to 
high that is the intensity okay now we have another loop which is i is equal to zero which is on state and i here should be less than or equal to one and then our condition goes in as i is equal to i plus 0 0.1 which means that the led intensity goes from high to low this condition right over here decreases the intensity of the led and if this condition is true then my led is equal to i that is the water that is whatever value is at that point i'm using my led because i already defined my variable as my led in here if you use abc then you definitely need to keep it as abc is equal to i then the delay goes in 0 0.5 seconds with semicolon this is your code that that's it nothing too intense S save compile open it in your folder copy the file and paste it in the drive that has been connected and this is the following output that you can see So I hope that this tutorial was really simple for you guys and using this PWM we will do other experiments as well. This was just an introduction to the PWM so that you guys can clearly understand and make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial thoroughly. I'll see you in the next one.